Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for June 3rd, 2021. Well, yesterday we just kind of drifted along sideways. There was some good news in that, and there was still some uncertainty in that. And this morning we have the futures actually pointing, at least at this point of the day, pointing to a lower open. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, and let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Marker Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. Thank you all for being here. We've got um, kind of an interesting day setting up with a big day of data. Um, we'll talk about that in just a second. Um, but let's take a look at these index charts and see if we can gain a little bit of information about how we want to approach the market for today. So yesterday there was some good news in the fact that we just kind of drifted sideways. We really didn't break down. So the good news be being that we didn't follow through on those bearish candles that occurred on Tuesday. There was no follow through there. We just kind of uh, chopped sideways in a very light um, uh, volume session didn't do much of anything and as you can see we still have the complication here in that chart of that potential lower high and this morning if we actually get this follow through to the downside that could be problematic we're breaking this little tiny upside trend um, we could be going back down for a retest of that 50 day, or perhaps we don't go quite that far. We just find some price support right off of this area. So we'll have to um, watch this pretty closely. Now we have a big day of data and this could certainly change before the market opens. We could be completely bullish by the time the market opens. It all depends on how that data rolls out today. So keep a close eye on that. If we take a look at the SPY, SPY, the good news is yesterday we just kind of drifted. Um, we didn't break that low or that um, a big ugly candle. We didn't follow through th with that on um, Wednesday. But we still have this complication of that possible double top high. Now, it's going to be really, really important, I think, today how we actually progress forward. If we do actually get through these data points and see a selling wave coming in, that would complicate this chart quite a little bit. And let's keep in mind that we do have a level of price support right in here that we could try and hold on to, but if that were to fail, if we were to drift down below there, that could be problematic here for the market. That could really embolden those bears and get them to pushing pretty hard. So watch that carefully. Now keep in mind, we still have our 50-day moving average below as well that could provide some support and this trend in here that could provide some support. So watch that closely. I don't think we're ready to just run for the hills yet, but if we lose that support and come down in here, um, if we can hold in that range or that area, I think we'll be okay but it may be a little bit stressful and we could see quite a little volatility if that does happen. Remember those bears can get kind of nasty um, when we start to show these topping patterns. Fear can really come in quickly. Let's take a look at the QQQ. Now Qs, although we kind of drifted sideways yesterday and we didn't follow through with this um, bearish candle yesterday, we have kind of a mix of uncertainty here in this chart. First off, we're dealing with this price resistance, and that's certainly a bit of an uncomfortable thing in the chart with that price resistance and that possible lower high that could be forming right at the moment. This, however, is still a bullish flagging type pattern. So if we can get enough inspiration and in maybe some of these data points this morning, perhaps we reverse this and find a way to push back up through that area. We'll want to watch that pretty closely. But it was interesting yesterday that we just couldn't get much energy in the big techs. And let's remember there's seven big techs are 40% of the SPY. 
So if we can't get those seven big techs moving, this, the SPY is going to struggle. And of course, the, um, the NASDAQ is going to struggle. So we're going to have to watch those pretty closely. Let's also keep in mind that we are above our 50 day moving average here. But if we were to push down here this morning, we're going to be testing that 50 day moving average as support. So perhaps we find that area as support or perhaps um, if those bears find that inspiration, we could push on back down through that level. Maybe we come back down in here and test some support levels, maybe throughout this area. And a failure of the 50 day moving average and a lower high would certainly raise some concerns um, in the market and um, possibly bring out those bears in a strong way. So watch that close. Then let's take a look at IWM. IWM has enjoyed a pretty good rally back up and honestly I'm a little bit surprised it rallied quite as much as it did but let's take a look we are facing some fairly significant price resistance in the chart here um, doesn't mean we can't push on through and we do have something that could help us today we have oil data um, coming out oil has been one of those areas that has really helped um, IWM hold up quite well oil financials healthcare have probably been one of the biggest movers uh, to hold up IWM so we'll want to watch that closely if we start to get that pullback if we follow through with this today maybe a pullback down into here um, seems possible there is some price support right in there that we can maybe grab a hold of and hold on to and let's keep in mind that our 50-day moving average is right back down here we're all the way down here and our shorter term moving averages are trying to move up and provide some support there but let's watch that close let's take a look at our VIX now our VIX left us just kind of that uncertainty here in the market just kind of spinning around here not doing much of anything but the good news is we held on to this support we didn't lose excuse me the bad news is we we held on to this support we didn't lose that support with the little bit of bullishness that we had in the market yesterday so keep an eye on that if that support holds doesn't really mean that we have to sell off hard or, or uh, cause any problems there but we really if we're going to be bullish in the market we really need to see that low start to break so watch that closely and if I put some lines on here this resistance level above is pretty darn solid so we're in good shape as long as we stay under that level keep in mind if we are sinking this morning we could rise up into here pretty quickly so watch that carefully as long as that holds as resistance we could be fine if we were to break through that level and hold up here hold that area as support and then see some follow through selling that's where there could really be a big wave of selling so watch that close let's take a look at um, our T2122. Now T2122 was signaling yesterday that we were in an overbought condition. And when we pushed up um, during the day, we pushed up into this area. And by the end of the day, with a little bit of selling that came in, we ended up pushing that back down just below that reversal zone. But we are still rather elevated up here. So it's really going to depend on how that data comes out today, whether we get enough inspiration in here for those bulls to push us on through, or if those bears um, are emboldened here to really take on an attack, we've got a big space that we can move to to the downside. So watch that closely. T2122 gives us that little bit of concern that we are a little bit stretched in the short term. Let's take a look at our T2101. Now T2101 was interesting yesterday in that we really didn't do much of anything, but we did see a little bit of an upside move in that T2101. However, we still overall are plagued by this longer term downtrend here in, in that chart and it is a bit concerning. There is a little bit of price resistance through that chart as well. So we'll want to watch that. Um, if we get a big selling wave in the market, um, that could potentially see this um, T2101 expand. So watch that closely. If we get a big expansion of momentum in a selling wave, that could be problematic for us. So watch that closely. 
Let's take a look at our economic calendar. Now, our economic calendar has a couple things that, oh my goodness, um, could really move us around. Now, yesterday, now I don't know if this was a mistake by the Econo Day calendar or if ADP just couldn't get their job done yesterday and needed to shift the report to today. N needless to say, what that means is, is we have ADP coming out here at 8.15 this morning. That could certainly move the market around substantially. ADP struggled last month dramatically. They were expecting about a million new jobs to be created and it came in at 266,000. Um, if, if it comes in weak again today, that could prove to be a problem for the market. But let's see, the consensus has got it about 680,000. So potentially it comes up today and that could be bullish for the market. We'll wanna watch that. Then we have jobless claims here at 8.30. We know that that certainly has the ability to move the market around. And that's been seeing you know marginal improvements month over month. So we'll keep a close eye on that. We've got productivity and costs. We've got PMI and ISM natural gas, and then we're gonna get that petroleum status report. Now, petroleum has been one of those good things to help hold the market. Oil prices have been moving up, and analysts are saying that they expect throughout the summer, oil prices are continue to move up and maybe see 80 plus dollars a barrel on oil. So keep a close eye on that. Um, that'll be an interesting one and could have some market moving um, impacts. Also keep in mind we've got some Fed speakers out here today. It seems like every day we have Fed speakers anymore. And we have that Fed balance sheet at 430. Um, also as you're planning forward, don't forget this. We've got Jerome Powell speaking uh, Friday morning and then we've got the employment situation number coming in and that definitely can move the market So watch those two areas and plan your risk carefully heading into Friday morning Also keeping an eye there on those factory orders So let's take a look at some stocks that um are in the earnings calendar today that could be moving around. We have our busiest day today, uh, only about 24 companies, but we have um, quite a few notables today that you wanna be paying attention to. So combining with all this economic data and uncertainty, we have a pretty good round of earnings reports. Now, after the bell today, we're gonna to hear from AVGO. That will be important. AVGO, um, obviously a big, supplier of Apple. Apple's been struggling here just a little bit recently and notice that we have that potential of a lower high coming in in AVGO. So that could be an important report this afternoon to kind of keep an eye on. Take a look, we also will be hearing, we're gonna get a report from Lulu today. It looks like Lulu may be headed down. Now I can't tell you if that is a function of their earnings report. I haven't checked that report or if it is uh, just a function of the futures pushing lower, but watch that closely. Lulu re will report today, setting in that wedge pattern. We're gonna hear from some retailers like Five Below. Five Below has been moving to the downside here recently, so that could be an important report. Um, CRWD will be reporting today. Let's watch that. We've been rallying here re recently challenged by some overhead resistance in the chart again could be a very important report docu docu has been in a protracted downside move here we're struggling with some price resistance right in here so a good report could maybe pop us through that downtrend um, if we were to fail here then more lows may be on the way for docu a um, couple others that I will um, bring up, and then if you want to get the full list, make sure you click the link right below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog and you can get the full list of notables this morning. Take a look at work. That four letter word, work will be reporting today. Keep an eye on that. And then we're also going to have ZUMZ um, reporting today. So, whoops. 
Z, U, M, Z, we'll be reporting today, so keep a close eye there. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up, but before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And I hope you guys see that these videos are a little bit different than what you might get as a normal diet out there um, without all the hype and drama. It's meant to really focus in on the details of the chart. And I can tell you, I do this video probably as much for me as I do it for anyone else. I have been doing this for more than 20 years, going through and reviewing the market to try and decide how I want to approach the market for today and avoid all of the hype and drama that you might see out there in the news and other places so that I can focus in carefully and get myself centered for where I want to be today. So if you find these things to be helpful, if you find these videos to be helpful, please do me a favor and share them out on your social media platforms. That helps a lot in um, distributing the video around and more people can see it. And also, if you can click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment, that helps the, the, the engagement to the, vi to the videos helps as much as anything for the growth. The more people that engage and make a comment, and by the way, just leaving an emoji is is a comment um the more engagement that comes in there the algorithm shows the videos to more and more folks and that helps quite a bit so thank you very much for everyone who does take the time to do that and thank you also for those of you who take the time to support the channel through the buy me a coffee link that's just below the title of the video um i truly truly appreciate that you guys humble me every day Let's take a look at some stock setting up and please keep in mind guys that as I point out these stocks, we have futures pointing to a lower open and we've got a lot of news and volatility around this. So these are more of a watch list and they're not a recommendation for, for you to buy or sell any security. So keep a close eye on these. You might want to put them on a list and wait for the next entry into the trade. Um, one chart that I want to point out that I thought was a pretty good looking chart yesterday, and that's Peloton. Notice Peloton breaking its downtrend here, rallying up pretty nicely. We've broken through some resistance levels in the chart, and now we're resting and pulling back. You might want to keep an eye on this for that next opportunity in this trade. Notice we're drawing closer and closer and closer to that little uptrend. We could see this turn around and start moving higher here soon. So watch that close. Other places that you might want to look, take a look at KHC. Now KHC has been in a beautiful upside trend and has been holding up quite well overall as a chart. Take a look at this weekly chart, beautiful upside trend, nice little consolidating move here. And that opportunity that KHC might push on through. And one of the things that I have been seeing are, is this consumer defensive sector, these big dividend payers have been holding up and doing quite well. So you might want to keep an eye on stocks in that sector. They are doing pretty well. And we're going to hear from one today. Um, Smuckers will be reporting today. Keep an eye on this. You can see Smuckers has been holding up quite well. A little consolidating move here. Nice pop yesterday heading into earnings. Watch that closely as it produces earnings. Um, it's possible that could continue to extend that move to the upside. Keep a close eye on that. Other places that you might want to look are in the beverage area. Um, Coca-Cola. Coke has been doing quite well. Notice in my drawings here we, we popped above this resistance high in the chart. Now we still have more resistance up here to deal with, but that's a pretty good sign pushing on through and we're holding this up here. If we can get some bullishness to show in the market, we've got a little bullish flag starting to show up here. Watch for that opportunity for that maybe to push on through to the upside. Nice looking little chart. Um, you might want to take a look at um, um, NVIDIA. NVIDIA has rallied really strongly here recently. Now I wouldn't want to chase this, but any rest or pullback that holds above this support area right in here could set up that opportunity for um, the next long. So watch that closely. Looking pretty good. Um, take a look at MDLZ. Now Mondelez is something I own already, so I have a little bias in this, and we've got a nice profit in this trade already. Um, keep an eye on Mondelez. Watch that closely. It could surge 
on through with a little bit of inspiration, push on up, and it's another one of those consumer defensives. Um, uh, looking pretty good and holding in a trend pretty nicely, so watch that closely. Um, I was taking a look at um, Intuit yesterday. Intuit making a nice move. Notice we popped up strongly yesterday. Now we have blue skies above, so watch that closely. If Intuit can move on through, it had a good earnings report. If it can move on through this level, we may continue to extend to the upside. Keep a close eye on that one. We had some pretty nice movement in some of the EV um, related stocks yesterday. Now NKLA was a stock that I was holding. I told everyone I was holding. Had a huge surge up yesterday. I ended up closing that into that strength yesterday, taking a profit on that trade. But now you want to keep this stock on a list for a re-entry. Watch this if this pulls back and rests and can provide some um, hold above that support area. So if we can pull back and rest in here and re-engage this trend, we might just see another bite of the apple here on NKLA. You might also wanna keep an eye on NIO. NIO made a nice move, broke above some resistance in the chart. Now yesterday we had a little bit of selling pressure and looks like it's following through a little bit today. But as long as we hold a higher low, we might look right in here and see if we can engage a trend out here someplace for that to continue to move on up. So watch that closely. Last but not least, I think we want to keep an eye on energy. Now, energy could have, anything could happen here with energy today. And that's because we have that petroleum status number coming out. But keep a close eye on this. We saw a nice surge in energy prices here this week. And energy breaking through the XLE breaking through some resistance in that chart. So if we get up here and we can prove to hold this areas as support, then we might just move on through and come back, come on up and start testing some other levels in that um, energy sector. So watch that closely um, and look for some of those stocks in that sector. And it's really easy in TC2000, just click this one icon right here and you can jump right into some stocks that have been moving up and showing some signs of bullishness. Pretty easy to find some stocks looking uh, pretty good in this sector, although they're showing a little bit of pullback this morning. Um, that's what we need. We wanna see those rallies, those little rests and pullbacks to provide us that opportunity for an entry. So with that, everyone, hey, I wanna wish you all a fantastic day in trading. Um, heads up here, we, as we head into this um, data, we've got some ugliness showing up in the market. Dow futures are down 230 points. So be really, really careful here. Hopefully you didn't chase an over trade um this market the last couple of days because um, this could be a painful day if um, these data points don't um, bring out some bullishness so watch that closely everyone take care have an awesome day and we'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning